Hi everyone, this is Professor Anil Joshi, owner of commercefunda.com website and plus I have the Facebook page by the same name. So do keep watching my Facebook page as well as do keep visiting my website. Now the topic that I am going to explain today is Capital Redemption Reserve, CRR. Now you must have learned that this CRR concept, where do we use that? In two cases. Redemption of preference shares and buyback. Now, before we go to the formula of how to calculate the CRR, first let me explain to you what happens and what is the need for CRR. So, whenever there is a redemption of preference shares, what happens is your preference share capital will come down. Whenever there is a buyback of equity shares, your equity share capital will come down. Correct? Now, whenever the share capital comes down, what happens is it increases the risk for the lenders. Because, see, when lenders give loans to the company, at the time of giving the loans, they will primarily look at the owner's contribution in the company. Higher the owner's contribution in the company, that means they build the confidence that you know this uh, owner is very serious about the growth the expansion and the overall sustainability of this company and based on that confidence level they decide to give loan to the company now imagine after giving the loan if company goes for buyback or if company is redeeming the preference shares what will happen the owner's contribution in terms of the share capital will come down and that will increase the risk for the lenders in that case so, in order to protect the interest of the lenders, this concept of CRR is introduced in the Companies Act. So, remember this CRR is basically to protect the interest of the lenders, to make sure that the owner's contribution remains unaffected and the lender's interest is protected. Now, let me talk about redemption of preference shares. Now, if I say that, you know, I am giving a simple example in terms of small numbers you are redeeming the preference shares of rupees 20,000. Now, there are two sources of redemption of preference shares as per Companies Act. One, either fresh issue of new shares or the free reserves. The free reserves are the reserves which are available for dividend distribution. Now, if 20,000 rupees worth of preference share capital is to be redeemed and company has free reserves of say 17,000. Company will have to go for fresh issue of rupees 3000 because these are the only two sources now what does this crr say the face value of preference shares redeemed not supported by the fresh issue so 20000 is the face value of the preference shares to be redeemed how out of 20000 how much is supported by the fresh issue 3000 so, which is not supported by the fresh issue is how much? 17,000. So, that amount has to be transferred to CRR. So, I repeat. The face value of the preference shares redeemed, not supported by the fresh issue of shares, fresh issue of shares, that remaining amount is the one that needs to be transferred to capital redemption reserve. So, how much amount you have to transfer to CRR? 17,000 rupees. Correct? Now, let me explain to you what happens when this 17,000 is transferred to CRR. On one hand, your share capital is going down by 20,000 rupees because you are redeeming the preference shares. On the other hand, you are increasing the share capital by 3 rupees, 3,000 rupees because you are going for fresh issue. So, net net, your share capital is coming down by 17,000 rupees, which is increasing the risk for the lenders. 
So therefore, what the act says is, since your share capital is coming down by 17,000 rupees, these 17,000 rupees you have to transfer compulsorily from the free reserves account to capital redemption reserve account. So how does that help the situation? Once 17,000 is transferred to CRR, do you know the use of CRR? There is only one use of CRR account and that is for the purpose of bonus issue. Capital redemption reserve account cannot be used for any purpose other than bonus issue. This is the only purpose for which CRR can be used. So that means the CRR is as good as share capital because there is no other use for CRR. So here we said 17,000 was the amount by which your share capital came down and 17,000 now you are transferring to CRR which is as good as share capital. So your share capital remains intact. Correct? Lenders interest is protected. So that is why this provision is there. Right? Suppose if the company goes for in this case fresh issue of shares say to the extent of 7000 rupees. Okay? Company has a free reserves balance of say 11000 rupees. So will this be okay to go ahead with? Again use the same rule. The face value of preference shares not supported by the fresh issue has to be transferred to CRR. So what is not supported by the fresh issue? 13,000, 20,000 minus 7,000, 13,000 not supported by the fresh issue has to be transferred to CRR. But how much do you have in free reserves? Only 11,000. So from 11,000, how can you transfer 13,000 to CRR? Correct? Not possible. So this rule will not be followed. So therefore, in this case, company has to compulsorily go for at least 9,000 rupees worth of fresh issue. So then in that case, remaining 11,000 is something which you can transfer to CRR from the free reserves. Correct? So this is one point that you need to be careful about. And remember this CRR provision and your funding requirement are two different things. Don't mix up these two things. Funding is separate and the rule for your CRR is separate. So what I'm saying is, suppose the company has a free reserves balance of say 8,000 rupees. Okay, and company has enough bank balance because ultimately for redeeming the preference shares you need money. So company has a bank balance of rupees 25,000 which is sufficient to redeem the preference shares. So the question is then in that case my question to you is will the company have to go for a fresh issue of shares compulsory from funding requirement if you see not needed because company already has enough funds so there is no need for fresh issue of shares but then I apply the CRR rule if company doesn't go for fresh issue then the amount of preference shares to be redeemed is not supported by the fresh issue fresh issue is zero so not supported by fresh issue will be 20,000 rupees so entire 20,000 will have to be transferred to CRR from where from the free reserves but where do you have the balance in free reserves? You don't have the balance of 20,000. So then how can you transfer 20,000 out of 8,000 rupees to CRR? That means even if you have enough funds in the bank, in this particular case, you have to compulsorily go for the fresh issue of at least 12,000 rupees. Because then what is not supported by the fresh issue, which is 8,000, you can transfer to CRR. Correct? So that is what I wanted to explain to you that funding requirement and the rule for CRR are two different things. You have to see both the things are taken care of. You should have enough funds also and you should have enough balance to be transferred to CRR from the free reserves. Once you understand this logic, then buyback understanding is simple. CRR is applicable in case of buyback also. Because as I said in the buyback also your share capital is coming down. So same reason. The only thing is that you know here in case of buyback your free reserves will include 
द बैलेंस इन सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम ओके दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इन बाय बैक अदरवाइज इट इज द सेम लॉजिक बिकॉज सी वाई यू नो दिस इज स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन बिकॉज अदरवाइज सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम इज नॉट अ फ्री रिजर्व बिकॉज यू कैनॉट इशू यू कैनॉट पे डिविडेंड out of securities premium balance section 52 does not allow dividend to be distributed out of securities premium so as per that section 52 securities premium is not a free reserve however for the purpose of buyback securities premium is considered as good as your free reserves right so when you are talking about free reserves here you will take free reserves plus securities premium both in mind and then see whatever that amount is the remaining amount has to be by way of issue of fresh shares correct that's the only difference otherwise the formula for crr is same all right so this is how see and how do you would the journal entry for crr is simple from whichever reserves account you are transferring you know say general reserve then general reserve account debit to capital redemption reserve account that becomes your journal entry right so this is how the crr has to be calculated and this is the logic and the reasoning behind the preparation of crr so i hope i have understood i have explained this crr concept uh, reasonably well to you and you have understood the purpose behind crr see always try to understand the purpose behind each of those things the act will never ask you to prepare or to uh, you know transfer something to crr just for the sake of transferring there has to be some logic there has to be some objective behind that crr so try to go uh, behind uh, you know the objective try to see what that objective is and then you will enjoy the subject more all right thank you so much